Damn, Jimmy, you made that motherfucker. Another reaction video. I'm going hard with these reaction videos this month, man. I'm telling y'all, man, this is this is this is my year. This is our year. This is us as a people year. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to anything y'all want to do in life, y'all can do anything that y'all want and put your mind to it. Just remember that, man. Put your mind to it, y'all can do it. Hey, but hey, seven NBA brothers that you didn't know exist. Now this is finna be crazy because um you're gonna see some of these brothers and I know they're gonna look exactly alike, bro. You're gonna be like, what? He got a brother that looks just like him and he had a brother I didn't know about, you know what I mean? And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that um notification bell too for real. So y'all can know when I post another video. Cause the videos coming like this, man. They just they just pop, 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 pop. They, just, they really just coming, man, because I'm making it. I just made like three videos, man, before then, man. man we finna go crack. I'm telling y'all, man, let's get right to the video. For real, though. What's up, Hoops fans? Welcome back to Latest Hoops. Latest Hoops. Your go-to channel for all things NBA basketball. Yeah. We've got something a little different lined up for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at some of the NBA brothers you didn't even know existed. We know about the ball, boys. Think Luke Hemsworth, brother to Hollywood A-listers Luke and Chris Hemsworth or Alex Watson, brother of Emma Watson. Yes, that's right, we're taking a look at the NBA brothers you had no idea existed. But before we do, we've got another surprise to let you know about. We're yeah. giving away a brand new PS5, including the NBA 2K21 and Madden NFL 21 games for free. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is like this video and leave a comment. Then subscribe to the latest Hoops channel and turn on- I ain't finna be giving out no PS5, but done, hey. Once you're in with a chance to win. It's down now there. we've covered that surprise. But well, go to his channel. Surprising siblings and Hold our up. beloved NBA. Hold it's up. only a pro- Go to his channel, like, comment, and subscribe, so y'all can get a PS5. That shit rhyme, nigga. Woo! Hey, but hey, go to his channel. If y'all want a PS5, go to his channel, though, because uh, I would want a PS5, you know? that we start with the brother of the player whose nickname is literally a mythical being. Yes, that's Gotta right. Gotta start the with DeMarcus, DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has a brother who can ball. DeMarcus, a Kentucky Wildcats product and former NBA All-Star, has a brother yeah, named see, I ain't never Dillian. seen him before. DeMarcus has been a standout prospect in basketball circles since high school, Ooh, going on to play for one of the top bat. college programs in the country and being drafted fifth overall in 2010 by the Sacramento Kings. His brother, Jaleel, however, has taken a much more scenic I've never seen him before. He kind of favored him a little bit. Jaleel Cousins, Same who kind of beard. is younger than his older brother, Same began shape. his college career at Navarro College before transferring to South Florida in his junior season. Right. The younger cousin's brother averaged modest numbers of 8.5 points, 8 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game. Hey, 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 kind of look good, though. 8 rebounds, he undrafted in 2016, 8.5. He was recently played in the NBA G League for the Santa Cruz Warriors in 2018-2019. Jaleel is of the same height as his big brother. Brother, but of a slimmer build. The fact that he went undrafted seemed to have a negative effect on the younger cousin's brother. He was arrested in Tampa around the same time. However, since then, he has flirted with making it to the NBA on several occasions, even signing a summer league contract with the Dallas Mavericks at one point. However, the... Still for the game, another one. The Mavs waived him shortly afterwards, and he's been trying to make it to the NBA ever since. In his most recent G League stint, he was given around six minutes off the bench, which would suggest any hopes of him playing in the NBA proper are a long shot. Still, he made it to the G League on a couple of occasions, which means he is among the best basketball players in the yeah, world. You can tell he way slimmer than DeMarcus. In the world of unknown brothers, That's like Thompson, bro. Thompson, brother of three-time NBA champion and one half of the Splash Brothers, Clay Thompson. Look at Steph Curry, his brother in there. Clay Thompson, his brother. Brought circles of Clay's dad and how good genes in basketball are in his blood. His older brother Michael is often forgotten against the backdrop of a truly elite athletic family. However, Michael Thompson is a more than competent basketball player in his own right. The Pepperdine College alumni went undrafted in 2011. However, he managed to find his way into the league regardless. Michael made several I'm try to name the brothers Cleveland Cavaliers before I even hit the name. And has played for numerous G League affiliates since. In his five games for the Cavs, Michael put up 3.6 points and like 1.4 assists per game before being waived by the franchise and returning to the G League. Playing in the NBA is one of the hardest things to do in basketball, with around three in 10,000 college prospects ever making it to the league. 
The fact that Michael was able to make it shows he is one of the most talented basketball players on he the He looked planet. taller than Clay He's just unfortunate to have a father and younger brother who are just a little bit better. Clay mm. isn't the only NBA he star, has to say all that. brother no one is looking down like that. either. Fun fact, Blake Griffin's older brother, Taylor Griffin, is his manager. Second fun fact, they were drafted to the NBA in the same year. That's right, in 2009, Blake Griffin was drafted number one, and his older brother was drafted in the second round. Taylor, who is two years Blake senior, was taken 48th overall by the Phoenix Suns. His NBA career would only last eight games before he was demoted to the G League, never to resurface. Nonetheless, Griffin number two made it to the league with his younger brother. That's a bald head, Blake Taylor Griffin. Taylor probably <laughs> took a lot of credit for Blake developing that into the look look in just the like and him. after convincing his brother to go and play college basketball with him in Oklahoma. The two have had very contrasting basketball careers. Oh but the close goodness. bond they share played a substantial role in Blake Griffin's sustained success in the NBA. In fact, Taylor is credited with convincing Blake that the move to Detroit was a good shorter. fit for him. The two remain close, as evidenced by their... Look at this picture. Which one is Blake Griffin? Obviously the one that's sitting down, but the, the one that's standing up looks just like him. Like, literally. Like, they twins right here in this picture. Because his brother ain't got, like, the ball spots no more up there. I don't know if this is before or after, but, you know. And he not ball-headed now. It's look like they just put Blake Griffin right there. Relationship. And Taylor joins the esteemed company of other NBA brothers you probably had no idea existed. Next up on that list are the Adenikumpo brothers, not named Giannis. Yes, Hoops fans, that's I know about one of them. I know he had, I know he had two, but I didn't know both of them was in the NBA. In fact, his brother Costas is an NBA champion, having won the title with the Los Angeles Lakers I remember that year. one. Don't worry or feel I don't know about the other one, though. That. He didn't contribute much to the title run. He yeah. didn't even play for the franchise in their postseason run. However, he did. I remember during the finals, I seen, um, I don't even want to say his name. Antetokounmpo. Oh. Yeah, but I seen that name on a jersey, and I was like, that can't be Giannis. But that gotta be his brother on the Lake Lakers. Come the first Greek born. That's how I realized that he had another brother in the NBA. Which has to sting for Giannis, given the MVP level he's been playing at as part of the Milwaukee Bucks in recent years. We should point out that it isn't just the modern generation of NBA stars who have NBA brothers you have no idea about. We've all heard of Dominique Wilkins, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what about his brother, Gerald Wilkins? That's Never heard of Dominique him. Wilkins, the dunk king, had a brother in the league. That's Michael Jordan right his there. His brother is a pretty good basketball player in his own right. Gerald, who is Dominique's younger brother, was taken with the 47th overall pick in the 1985 draft by the New York Knicks. He played in the NBA for 13 seasons and finished with career averages of 13 points, 3 rebounds, mm, and 3 assists per him. game. Gerald Wilkins certainly wasn't as talented as his older brother. Dominique Wilkins was taken third overall in the 1982 draft. He made nine all-star appearances. He was an all-NBA first team, won Rookie of the Year, and a scoring champion title. However, Gerald Wilkins did possess similarly explosive dunking abilities to his older brother. He also managed to put up nearly 20 points per game in his second season in the league. Gerald was a pretty good basketball player, even if he wasn't the high-flying scoring machine that his brother Dominique was. The Wilkins brothers aren't the only old-school brotherly pairing of an NBA legend and an unheard-of sibling either. We've probably all heard of Horace Grant, right? Particularly after the recent Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance, became so popular around the world. The power forward and Clemson alumni spent seven years with the Chicago Bulls, who drafted him 10th overall in 1987. Horace went on to win four championships with the Bulls, made an all-star team, and also made four all-NBA defensive second teams in his career. All told, he played 17 seasons in the league and had a stellar basketball career by all accounts. What you may not know, though, is that Horace Grant has a twin who also spent over a decade in the NBA. Harvey Grant, who is Horace's identical twin and was drafted a year later than the Bulls, me dead. You really want to die for this kid? Those who wish me dead. I like I said something else, but I said, give me that ad. Legend, was a more than capable basketball player. Harvey spent 11 seasons in the league, seven of which were in Washington. Right. His career numbers were a not too shabby 10 points and 4.4 rebounds per game. In fact, Harvey scored 18 points per game or more in three seasons on the bounce from 1990 to 91 and 1992-93. Anyone who can put up those kinds of numbers in the NBA is a certified baller in our books. It's a little surprising that his production declined so sharply after those three seasons. And we feel like he could have perhaps come a little bit closer to reaching the heights his twin brother did in the league. 
Nonetheless, Harvey was a great baller and should be better remembered for his time in the league. Now, seeing as all he had to do was, if you want to play the NBA, just take his brother's spot for a game, game, just to feel, you know what I'm saying, the NBA president, you know what I'm saying, get in the NBA team, and one of the greatest shooting guards ever to play the game. <laughs> well, what if we told you that he's actually the second most impressive basketball player in his family? That's right. Cheryl Miller, who is Reggie Miller's sister, is widely considered the greatest female basketball player of all time. She once scored 105 points in a single yeah, game no, by in her. high school. In college, she won back-to-back -back national championships, yes, was named did. Player of the Year three times, and the NCAA Tournament MVP twice. Yes, she Unfortunately, did. Cheryl's career predates the WNBA, so we don't know just how jaw-dropping her career in the league could have been. However, she did help lead the USA women's basketball team to a gold medal in the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. To give you an idea of just how ridiculously good Cheryl was, she is not in one, not two, but three Basketball Hall of Fames. Good, she was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1995, the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 1999, and the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2010. She was also drafted into the United States Basketball League after her time at USC. That might not sound extraordinary, but it sure is when we tell you that that league is a men's league. Cheryl Miller was so skilled she could ball with full-grown men and hold her own straight out of college. We know this video is supposed she to be about cold. NBA brothers, but the Millers represent arguably the greatest sibling pairing in basketball history, and that is in large part thanks to the extraordinary ability of Cheryl Miller. With her as an older sister, it's little surprise that Reggie Miller became one of the greatest players to ever set foot in the NBA. So here's a shout out to you, Cheryl Miller, and to all the other women balling out on stages big and small around the world. Thank you for contributing to the beautiful game that is basketball. And thank you, Latest Hoops fans, for coming back for more time and time again. We've got loads of new and exciting videos coming your way in the days and weeks ahead. So be sure yeah. to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss a thing. Also, leave a like and comment on this video for your chance to win that awesome PlayStation 5. We'll see you soon, Hoops fans. Until then, keep shooting your shot. Yes, sir. Hey, he, see, he already said everything by liking, comment, subscribing. You know, I ain't got to say it again. So we're just going to cut this right here. I know y'all liked the video. I hope that y'all liked the video. Um, it was some brothers in there that I have not seen before. And I'm like, whoa. Especially that Blake Griffin one, man. That They look exactly alike. It's scary. Like, And I think Blake Griffin brother is a little bit older than him. So they're not twins, I don't think. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Sheesh. What is it? A day in the life of LeBron James. Oh, y'all want to watch that? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. But it's been your boy, J-Rock. Hey, we're going to do more videos, more reaction videos, more gaming videos. Whatever y'all want me to do, man. Just let me know. And I got y'all. We out this thing, bro. Let's get it.